um, two tools that we have that work together. One is what we call a shared search, and it works with our text alerts. It's just a fantastic part of our text alert. So let me just show you this real quick. Basically, what shared searches are is you make a saved link on your IDX broker account, and the name of it must start with the letters share. It can be uppercase, lowercase, or a combination. It can be shared, shared link, shareable, but it has to be, it has to start with the word share. So let me create a link here. I'm just going to show you how this works. We're going to do uh, basically a regular search in, in their area. We're going to do um, Boulder, Colorado. And we will do Colorado Springs. So we're going to do Colorado Springs. And what we're going to do is we're going to say Colorado Springs is probably pretty pricey. So we're going to say we're looking for basically new, new homes for people. We want um, any property that comes on, on the market. Let's see if there's a refinement here. I was going to put has an image, but we don't necessarily need that. And we just want all the properties listed in the last one day. And let's click here and see how many properties there are. Okay, so there's 29. And I want to see kind of how low these properties go. Okay, so there's a few between uh, below 300. So we're going we're gonna to change that. So these are people that are looking for homes under 300,000. Okay, so now I'm going to save this and I'm going to call it shared um, homes under 300 Colorado Springs and then I'll just put this is perfect I was going to put for first time home buyers or something like that. But anyway, we're not going to do that. Okay, so we have that. Now I just saved it. So let's just look here. We'll look for the word share. Okay, shared homes under 300. So it's here. Now what I can do is I can come back here uh, to IDX add ons and I'm going to reload this page with the leads. And now you can see I have this option here. So what I can do is I can add this now to these, uh, to these leads. So you can see this one had no saved searches, right? Okay, now let's reload the page. Now you can see that they have a saved search, okay? So we go back down here, I'm still getting my, uh, we've got text alerts set up. So for example, if I click on this, you can see now that I have this uh, new shared search under this user, all I need to do is click here and it'll activate the text alerts for that user. So I, maybe I don't want them getting text alerts uh, for the Aurora Homes. Uh, but I do want them to get it for the other ones. So that that's how I set that up. And now they'll start getting alerts for these new homes that show up. And that's how easy it is to set up text alerts, and especially using these saved searches. So now any new user that I get that signs up under my IDX account, I can just assign them to this uh, saved search and they're going to have it ready to go. I've got maybe I have one I use in Parker and one in Aurora and one in Colorado Springs, and I can just assign them to whichever one would apply to their situation. So get it at idxaddons.com or with the folks at realtycandy.com.